everyone. It's Jason Nickerson from Mog World Shot Show 2024, hanging out with Randall from Bragg and Rights Precision. Uh, we were just talking about the, the death grip and kind of how it's caught on, where we've gone from the start of it, and then kind of where we're headed. So uh, just real quick, just to kind of backtrack on where we began with this. Four years ago, we started with the aluminum death grip. This is a prone to standing tripod, aluminum construction. Uh, it does have a fixed head, which has 45 degrees of cant either way, and then 360 degrees of rotation. Um, yeah, I mean, this thing goes from prone. You can So with these lever locks also, you can go from 20 degrees, 45 degrees, and 85. And what 85 is, is almost an infinity. So you've got a lot of free play in there, which is like where I like to live, so I can quickly get to where I need to be. Uh, but anyway, from there, you can actually go down to about a 9-inch bipod height in the prone position, and then standing probably as tall as I am, which isn't saying much, but nonetheless. Um, so this is the aluminum death grip. This is our original. This is our, our kind of our flagship for the brand. Uh, 169.95 is the price on this. Um, and then the same year that we did that, we came out with a carbon fiber uh, version. So this is the exact same tripod that I mentioned, all the specs there, but it's in carbon fiber. It's about a pound lighter, uh, slightly stronger on the legs. I think it's 16% stronger is what it's kind of listed as. It's at 279.95. And then the next step, of course, is everybody wants there was a lot of people that want camo, so we jumped into the camo market with these. And this one, what you're looking at right now, is a mossy oak bottom land version. We have a real tree escape pattern as well that I sent to a different booth for uh, for them to use. Um, but these run at 199.95, and all they are is the exact same thing as the aluminum death grip, just with a camo wrap and some different accent colors. So this kind of wrapped up where we started, right? It's the fixed head. We also had we knew where we were going, but we had to build this out before we could get there. And we've had a lot of customers asking about ball heads and Arcus was compatibility and that's kind of what led to the, the next release which is the Bog Death Grip Infinite Series and the Death Grip Sherpa. So we swing kind of on over here uh, just like the aluminum Death Grip was the start of it all this is the start of our Infinite Series so like I mentioned before ball head ca capabilities uh, this also I don't want to do it here with this rifle in there, but this does come off. I'll show you here in a second on the carbon fiber on how that exactly works. But a wide opening Arca Swiss rail. So Arca Swiss is a geometric deal, but everyone seems to have different sizes. So we went for a wider version. So if you've got a chassis, uh, if you want to put optics plates, whatever it is on there, this will fit for it. So this, again, this is the aluminum death grip infinite. It comes with the death grip head as well, and also comes with a carry bag and an optics plate. So that comes in at $299.95. Uh, one other thing on this that we did was put in some robust twist locks which tend to be a little quicker we had a lot of people asking for that and then we have a proprietary steel spike system it actually tools in and then tools back out and actually gives a little more bite so when you get some really rocky terrain or some uneven terrain it gets a little more bite than the original death grip uh, from there, I'll kind of work up in price point here. Uh, I talked about earlier the Death Grip Sherpa. This is kind of our backcountry hunter uh, tripod. So this one actually has a center post. I'll call it a short shooting or standing height. A guy like I can shoot on there. I'm 5'9". I can easily shoot standing on this. Uh, it's a little bit smaller diameter. So if you looked at the leg section on the infinite on the bottom, that's about where we started up here on top. So the same three position locks that all of our Death Grips have. Uh, again, the carbon fiber. This weighs 4.1 pounds with the Death Grip head, which is included or a 3.2 without. So as is now, the tripod alone is 3.2. I forgot to mention that here. This is eight pounds with the death grip head or 6.75 without, with the ARCA compatibility. Uh, kind of bring on to the, the carbon fiber death grip. So this is the true flagship. This is the top end of our lineup. 399.95. Sorry, I didn't mention that. It's 349.95 over here. 399.95. This is just like the aluminum death grip, but it's a lot lighter. So six and a half pounds is what you're getting out of this. Uh, with the death grip head, you'll be at five and a half without. So you're getting a pound off that if you go just straight in with an Arca rail or anything like that. Uh, as you can see, we can put spotting scopes, SLR cameras, M-lock rails, uh, chassis, four ends, all that stuff. So again, all of these even this death grip sherpa goes prone to standing if you take off this column so uh, yeah all of these are actually prone to standing and just uh, something for everybody that's kind of what we're looking to do with bog and i want to show you one more thing so this is going on that note of doing something for everybody is the death grip 360 so a couple years ago we came out with the nucleus 360 which is an extremely uh, durable strong and comfortable seat if you're hunting in a ground blind or shooting or sitting at the range whatever it is this thing you sit all day in it well, taking the death grip, cue from the death grip, we had a lot of people that maybe don't have the room in their ground blinds or in an area to actually have both a tripod and a chair. So we combined these, the Nucleus 360 with the death grip capability, and this is the death grip 360. This is something that's probably caught the attention of most people of this show. It's kind of been one of our more popular items, but it gives you 360 range, not only in the spin of the chair, but actually in this as well. It's a little stiff right now, but 
it'll go all the way around so if you need to quickly change the other side and the beautiful thing about this let's call it just for ground blind hunting is to actually be able to be out a window and if you need to make a quick adjust turn over here pull it in and go pop out the next window so very very little adjustment it has height adjustment in here as well a very little adjustment to actually rotate to windows um, six position independent leg uh, adjustment so you can Thing how tall you are, I'm not real tall. I can sit right on the ground. So anyway, this is 269.95, and this goes, like I said, something for everybody. Uh, this does have the fixed head, but it's exactly what you need for that ground blind hunting or shooting at the range. So again, I'm Jason with Bog, 2024 SHOT Show with Randall, Bragging Rights Precision, and thanks for watching.